Is it Jack? I've just had somebody on the phone, you know, from them competitions. And we've won! What? We've won a house! You are? Yeah, we've won a house. A, a dream house. That's what he said. He said, Mrs. Duckworth, you've won a dream house. Hey, that's fantastic. No way, eh? Uh, have you told Jack? Well, it is still out walking Monica. I were having a sleep. Hey. Oh, so, <laughs> after all we've been through. Well, a dream house! No! <laughs> <laughs> well, is that like? I'm going to the bank in my lunch to get some forms and things for the mortgage. <laughs> You're serious, then? About buying my house. Well, of course, so you've nothing to worry yourself about. Oh, haven't I? Oh, no. no they'll, they'll probably settle it there and then, and you won't have the stress of having to move house, which is the second most stressful thing a person can go through after divorce. <laughs> and I'll vouch for that. Do you know, I never knew the meaning of the word stress before I met Angela Hawthorne. Well, aren't you being a bit premature, Norris? I mean, I don't know for definite whether I'm going to lose the house or not. Oh, no, no, no. It's best to strike while the iron's hot. This way, you're definitely not going to lose your house. <laughs> of course, when number three is mine, I, I shall be looking to make a few changes. Yes. I, th I think it'd be fitting if I had the front bedroom, and uh, I'll be drawing up a list of rules and regulations, but we can go through those any time. Yeah. Have you heard? Heard what? We've won a house, me and our Jack. Really? Fab, in it. Do you know, I can't wait to get away. The trouble we've had round here recently. But you're moving? Yeah, of course we are. We've won a dream house. Don't think we're going to stop here and keep pigeons in other, are we? It wouldn't surprise me. Where is it, Vera? The house? Well, I don't know yet, but it's bound to be better than round here, isn't it? It could be a bit detached one, you know, with rhododendrons and big windows. I could have them neck curtains that you cross over, you know, big sashes. Oh, I've always wanted them. Oh, oh Vera, how lovely. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cup of tea? No, it's all right, my love. Uh, I won't stay. I've got a lady. I can't wait to move. Live somewhere decent for a change. Yeah, and that we're neighbours at lower house value. Hey, that's a thought. I could sell number nine and have some money in his pocket as well as a house. <laughs> well, don't look happy, will you? I'm not happy. I don't want to move. I like it here. Why don't we sell the new house and stop here? Typical. Don't want to move. Don't want to change. Why do you always have to drag me down, Jack? Do you know, I've wished for this all my life. I've been a, a dream house with a garden, not a backyard. You were neighbours that wash the cars on a Sunday and pop in of a morning for a coffee. Jack, we might have an ensuite, a shower. Oh, Jack, just imagine a shower. I don't like showers. You never had one? I did. When I was in the army, I used to line us up outside and turn tap on it with flaming freezing. But this is different. Look, we've won a house. A dream house. Look, we're moving. And you'll have showers and like them. Oh, houses round here. I mean, you can try and disguise them as much as possible. Oh, uh, well, like putting stone cladding up then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, exactly. But, I mean, when all said and done, well, they're just slums, aren't they? Slums? Oh, Vera, you can't call them slums. They're very nice little houses, I think. Yeah. Well, they're little, I'll grant you that. Oh, I can't wait to spread out in my bed and not touch both walls. Yeah. I'm surprised you stuck it so long, Vera, living in your slum. Yeah. Well, I did my best, you know, with alterations and that. I'll tell you what, Vera, why don't you take your soul plan with you? You know, put it on your new house. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a thought. It is Winding you up, Vera. Uh, no, I'm not. I'll gladly help you rip it down. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but we could throw you a ripping down party yeah, to see you on your way. Would you do that? It'd be a pleasure. Oh. Vera, Vera, I think you best come outside. Uh, what, what's happened? Just come with me. What's the matter? Get it over there. For, just lean it against the wall over there for the time being. Yeah. That's it. What's going on? What's all this? It's your dream house, Vera. You are? Your dream house. You see, I think you must have misheard the lad on the phone. Dream house. Green house. Green house? It doesn't look very spacious to me, Vera. I'll tell you what, Vera, stretch out in bed in that, you'll do more than touch the walls. You'll put your face through them. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this can't be right. Oh, it is. We've won a green house. 
But I don't want a greenhouse. But it'll come in handy. Here, Vera, are we still invited to the housewarming? Because we could all bring plants. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say about people who live in glass houses. Does this mean she won't be breaking any more windows? Ah, <laughs> uh, Archie, look. That's the first time I've seen Gail laugh in months. How can I tell her I've no money to bail her out? Oh, how can I? <laughs>